Start off with Alex Schiffer from The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, I got two for you. Just you guys had a really good start offensively. Everyone was scoring and, and distributing. Just what would you make of the uh, the start you guys had tonight? Um, I thought it was great, especially how we started last game down 12-0, um, putting ourselves in a hole. I think we want to come out with a better energy to start. And uh, this being a seven o'clock game definitely helped uh, <laughs> with our energy a bit. But it was good to get a good start and kind of cruise through the whole game. And then just Kyrie joining the 50-40-90 club, something both you and Steve have done in your career. Just Can you speak to the, that accomplishment and, and his season? Well, I mean, phenomenal season from Kyrie. I mean, he's a guy who can get it from anywhere on the floor at any time at that size is remarkable. Um, point guards that get 50-40-90 is just so much more impressive to me. You know what I'm saying? Kai, Steph, uh, uh, Steve do it. I, I'm sure it's a couple more, but those three stand out to me. Um, as small guys that get into the paint from the midi, from the three free throw line, they could do it all. So I'm very, very happy for Kyrie. And uh, I'm sure this won't be his last time. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin. Um, now that uh, the regular season is over and you guys have clinched that number two seed and you're just sitting waiting, I mean, what does that mean for you guys and to have a little bit of momentum going into the playoffs? I don't think we have any momentum. I mean, we just... Whatever we did so far is out the window. I mean, we obviously got principles and foundation that we want to build on, but like, you know, it's a new season for us. And I think that's the mentality we all want to have. Uh, we did some solid things throughout the regular season, but um, we just want to continue to keep getting better, um, but not, you know, realize that the regular season is over. This is a new vibe for us. So um, I'm looking forward to the preparation we go through, just the whole journey I'm looking forward to. Greg Logan with Newsday. Kevin, when you consider all the obstacles you guys face this year with the injuries, to finally get to this point and have everybody about as healthy as they've been all year, how gratifying is that? And do you think that your experience, all all the playoff games you guys have in the bank, will carry you? I mean, I think um, it's obviously good to have everybody healthy and um, you know, guys being in rhythm at this point. Uh, but we know how important each possession is in the playoffs, and I think that's one thing that, uh, you know, we can use. Uh, we can hang our hats on is knowing that we we understand the intensity of each possession. And uh, it's on us to go out there and execute, you know. So I'm looking forward to, like I said, the preparation, uh, next few days of practice and seeing, just seeing who we play, and then we can move on from there. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Evan, uh, that, that dunk that you had from Mike James, from Kyrie, with Blake, Kyrie, Mike James, that almost Harlem Globetrotter-like. Uh, Steve Nash said, well, it looks like we think we cute now. What, what were you feeling when you were out there? <laughs> uh, you can see that play, that play Mormon. Um, you know, it felt like it was just laid up on the platter for us. You know, we got a good stop, um, you know, good deflection. Blake was able to get it out quick. Kai got it out quick, and then boom. So it happened so fast. I didn't think we forced anything, and those those are usually the best plays when it just organically happens. So it was one of those ones. I'm excited I was a part of it. Thank you. Bruce Beck, NBC New York. Kevin, do you think the big three has gotten enough of an opportunity to play together here to, to thrive and feel good about yourselves going into the playoffs? I think we're the big 15. So... Yeah, we'll be all right. Christian Winfield from the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, kind of going back to that highlight play, did you did you know Mike was going to throw it off the backboard or did you kind of look at him? Like, how did you how did you figure that out? I mean, Mike is such a smart player. I think he's seen me before he even caught the ball. And uh, I gave him a quick look and I, I seen him glance back at, at, at me. And, you know, that's all you really need. I mean, me and Mike been been hanging around each other every day since he got here. So, you know, it felt like he already knew what I was thinking and vice versa. So it worked out. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm glad I was a part of such a, a nice special play like that. And, um, you know, everybody felt like they touched their hand, put their hands on the ball in that possession. And I'm glad we gave our fans a show. Thank you. Brian Mahoney with Associated Press. Hey, Kevin, you mentioned uh, momentum before. I wanted to ask you your opinion. The other day, Greg Popovich was saying it's going to be tough for teams to sort of reach the usual level of playoff basketball because of how hard this regular season was with the injuries and the protocols and stuff. 
Uh, you've been on teams that got really, really hot in the postseason. Do you think it's going to be harder this year? I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. I mean, but it, that stuff does play a factor along uh, regular season. Um, just, just different. You know, maybe it's just a different year for everybody. Getting used to the COVID year, the traveling on the road um, throughout COVID, just everything, the protocols. But um, I feel like teams are excited. A lot of teams are excited that they got through the season, and a lot of teams are excited that they headed into the playoffs healthy. So.